So let's say you have your Android app ready and you want to test this Android app. So you will need a, an Android virtual device to test this app inside this device and not on a real device. So let's see how we can create an AVD. Before creating an AVD, what you need to do is click on Tools and click on SDK Manager. Now we are making sure that we have prerequisites ready so that we can install or sorry so that we can create an AVD. Now click inside this appearance and behavior, go inside system settings and click on Android SDK. You will see this. Now click on SDK tools and if you already have Android emulator checked like I have like this or like this, if you have unchecked like this, click on Android emulator and click OK if you already have it selected or if you don't have if you didn't have it selected you will see an apply button here so let me just update this now click on apply and your android emulator will be installed so let's wait for this installation to finish so now our android emulator is installed so click finish click ok now and now we can create an avd that is android virtual device where you can test and install your apps so you can click on this icon here to open device manager or click on tools and click on device manager it's the same process now, as you can see here it is empty at the moment now click on this create a virtual device or click on this create device button now you will see the, these options so where do you want to test your app so let's say you want to test your app on a pixel 6 pro device so click on pixel 6 pro and click next now we will choose which Android version to install on our virtual device. So there are API 34, S, R, Q, Android Pie, Android Oreo, Marshmallow, Lollipop, all this stuff. Now which one to choose? So the latest one is obviously on the top, that is API 34, but you might want to check this on an older version. So uh, what might help you to choose this is click on this API level distribution chart here. And let's wait while this is complete. So for some reason this did not open anyway uh, this theorem also is the latest one and but if your android app is targeted to older devices you might want to try it out on older versions like lollipop marshmallow and stuff for now i will just click tiramisu and click next but for your you might not have this downloaded so you might want to click on this download button next to it and click accept and then click next and your android version will be downloaded okay but for now, I'll just click Tiramisu and click Next. And this is what you can name your device. You can name it anything and leave these devices to default. Click Finish and your Android virtual device will be created. As you can see, it is now created. Now to run this, you can click on this play button next to it. So if you cannot see this, that is because it is hidden. Now you can click on this and you'll be able to see your newly created AVD device. Now click on this play button and your AVD will open so as you can see now your Android device is open so now what you can do is you can just choose this device if you have multiple devices you will have to choose uh, from one of those devices but right now I only have Pixel 6 Pro so now your AVD is open you, you can just click on this play button next to it and this will install your app in your AVD now, as you can see my app has some errors and app has closed but anyway if there was no issues Clicking this play button would open the app. As you can see, it was trying to open, but it closed due to an error. So this is how you can create an AVD and test your apps in AVD. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.